Hi guys, this is a video demonstration of the Test Electronics RAN style test fixture configured as a press fixture with an array of holes here. And what that is for is for these pegs. Pegs can go in this hole anywhere you want. Now what we're doing here, what we're trying to accomplish is we're taking these fixtures which has been trendy nowadays for circuit board designers to make for good circuit board designers to make test fixtures out of a circuit board. It's a really unique thing that has been going on for maybe five years or so. And the way these work is you take, you design a circuit board uh, that has test pins installed in it and some indicator LEDs and uh, maybe a switch and maybe some Desteco clamps to hold this unit under test down against the test pins or you just hold it down with your hands and then you put it in some kind of a project box like this you can press this down flip the switch here check the LED states check if this board passes or fails or you could use these Desteco clamps needless to say it's somewhat awkward good for R&D and small production but uh, not good for large production ten boards a day maybe but you get up to a hundred boards a day something like this is going to break really fast especially if you put it out on the production line where you don't have the most caring uh, well-trained technicians doing the testing so uh, what the idea is is to take this out of the project box but to continue using it and now here at Test Electronics this was designed to fit in our test fixtures with the rectangular cutout uh, but we're going to pretend like we didn't know about test electronics and we didn't design this to fit. So we're going to use this round uh, peg and hole type test fixture to test this board. But So first let me put this aside and this is in the middle. I want to show you the different size pegs. So we've got pegs up from... Uh, one eighth of an inch all the way up to three inches. This is a one inch peg. Uh, this is a three quarter inch peg. And, and just let me show you the, the one sixteenth increments. This would be uh, one quarter, three sixteenths, and one eighth. They go in like that. And it's, it's all the way up, 1 16th increments, all the way up to 3 inches. So, for example, we would have a 2 inch, 15 16th um, rod if you wanted one. And the reason for that is because we expect you to use this test fixture to test more than one of these. And the idea is to get these all at the same level so that you're not constantly adjusting these up and down. These are real easy to move back and forth and side to side, but up and down t t takes a lot of turning and you've got to get each one exactly the same. It just takes a little time to do that. So we want to, you to do that with these lift uh, pins, the, these, these plugs, rather than uh, doing it with, uh, by adjusting these press down rods. Now there's 1.5 inches of clearance between these press down rods and between the top of the circuit board and the cross members here of the press down rods. So you got 1.5 inches of clearance. The highest component on this board is 0.8 inches high. Uh, this one comes close, it's about 0.65. Now these Desteco clamps, which we would normally remove when you put these in the fixture like this, uh, they're up almost 2 inches. So what we'll do is, even though this exceeds the clearance, it'll be okay as long as it goes between the crossbars. So that's how this is going to be set up. Now let me know, show you how easy it is to configure. So first what we'll do is we'll put the pegs in about where we think it would be okay, everything will fit. Now these pegs have an adhesive back here, but they have a a wax paper covering over it that you just peel off when you want to adhere it. So the pegs go in like these. These are, you get four of them. Here's the other one. These are um, just spacer pegs. They don't have, or it's just spacers. They don't have the actual peg in the hole like these do. So you get four with pegs. 
and four just plain spacers that you just put around anywhere just to keep the board solid. So let me show you now how to align this. Uh, basically you just put the board right here and you, you, you move it around a little, you feel if there's any components underneath dragging. And what I like to do is turn on a side light, a, a bright light nearby, which will light up and you can actually look through the circuit board and see exactly where these are aligning and see where you might want to put this. So I, I see that it works. Let me turn this sideways so you can see what I'm doing. I see that this works good right, right about here. And so what I do now is I take the pegs back out and peel off the, the wax covering so that we can put these so that the adhesive is there. So it comes off like this and now we've got an adhesive backed peg which is basically this adhesive is double sided machining tape so it's really strong stuff. Uh, you, can, you can put it on a piece of aluminum and machine it with a mill. That's how strong it is. So and stick it to a mill bed and machine it. That's how strong it is. So let me put this on here and get this aligned just the way I planned. Set it down. Now you don't want to miss this because if you do they're kind of hard to peel back off. They stick pretty good. Okay, so now it's stuck on there and they can drop back on just like that and lift right off. Whoop. the unit under test. Okay, so now I just press these down good and hard. Actually, I'll put it back in the fixture and press it down. Press it down good and hard, and then take it back out, and we'll put in our, our other pegs, which are just going to be put around the tooling pins. Let me turn this back to the front here. And I'll put one. I'll put them right between the tooling pins because that's what they're there for, to take up the pressure from the tooling pins so the board isn't bending all over the place. And we'll put one right in the middle here. And let's see. Put another one right back here. That ought to be good. It's not too important where these go. They don't have pegs in them, so they can be put anywhere you want. They just give it stability to keep the board from bending. So now we put it back in here. And then put the unit under test in. And now, next we got to align these. Now what I'm going to do is take out one of these. Uh, just because we only need two. And we got to clear those Desteco clamps. So let's take this one out, and we'll move this one here out towards the front, clear the Desteco clamp, and get a nice line where I can see it's clear the Desteco clamp, and it's going to be able to hit some, make contact, or hit the board, contact the board without contacting the components in some line, and then this one too. Move this one forward. This is how long it takes to adjust this, and it's really fast. And, there, and this is what you would do for each type of board you wanted to test. You'd adjust these rods. This is what you would have to go through. It's not bad. Reconfigure the board in the morning to test a different type of board. Now what you have to do is move these press down rods to different locations. Now, loosen that. So these slide back and forth like that. That one happened to be a little bit tighter than the other ones. So I'm going to tighten that down. The other ones I was doing okay moving by hand. Okay, that's all lined up. Alright, so then you press it down, lock it in, and there might be a little too much pressure on that board. It's bowing just a little. I'm going to loosen these up. I'm 
Okay. What you want to do is get the stroke of the pins about half stroke to two thirds stroke to three quarters. So two thirds is optimum. Let's get it somewhere between half and and three quarters, which for quarter inch stroke pins is one eighth inch to uh, three sixteenths. So that's why these pegs are in sixteenths in some inch increments. Okay, that looks about right. So there you go. That's how easy it is to put one of these in our test fixture designed for that. Basically, an array of holes. You just put these pegs in, drop it in the fixture, just like that. And now you can start your testing. It's all configured. Now you can put different type units in here. Um, whoop. You can put different ones in. Some are higher. Uh, some are lower. If you want to use higher, you can get... This is a uh, three-quarter inch. We have it in one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, two and a half, and three inches. Depending on how high your highest version is. Uh, some of these are built, designed a little differently. They might take a board and put it on the bottom of the pins and then put a smaller board on top of the pins or use longer pins and have the top have a bottom board and a top board that are one inch uh, instead of that need require one inch of lift from the top rather than um, three quarters so you would have to put one inch pins on this type to make that work or maybe some uh, quarter inch pins on the bottom board if there's a bottom board. So that's why we've got all these pegs in all different sizes. And the object is, is to get these all within one sixteenth of each other so that you don't have to adjust these up and down each time. Because up and down is a bit harder than just side to side and front and back. That's real easy. But up and down you've got to adjust each one and turn them. and It take, just takes a little bit more time and we don't want to do that. So that's why we got all these pegs for you. All right, so that's how this works. Now, this is not something you would want to use if you knew about test electronics before you designed these boards, because we make fixtures with rectangular cutouts that you can design the boards to fit into, and then you can use something like the regular RAND fixture without the lift. Uh, or if it's something really small and something you want to keep inexpensive, uh, you can use our project box fixture where you just mount your circuit board right in this area. And these are really inexpensive. So if you do know about test electronics, design your board to fit in our fixtures. If you designed a bunch of boards already before you knew about test electronics, well then you can use our peg and hole type RAND fixture. And this is also available with the Prober fixture too. So this concludes the video demonstration of the RAND peg and hole style press fixture. It's the RAND test fixture configured as a press fixture with a variety of different lifts here. And of course this has the same corresponding length. Uh, if you found this video informative and you'd like to see more videos like this, there are more available at testelectronics.com. Thanks for watching.